Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, if you like this specific setup, please do hit a like because I'm going to probably upload more number of videos in a similar way. Now coming to the topic that we are going to discuss today. In this video, we are going to talk about various text summarization techniques. I know you may have heard about one or couple of text summarization techniques, but here I'm going to show you around four to five different text summarization techniques which you can specifically use along with Langchain for solving various business use cases. Now, the other thing is that many people assume that we can only do this with paid APIs. You can also do the same task with open source APIs also, right? Or open source LLM models also. But in this video, I'm going to focus with respect to open AI LLM models. The reason is very simple because I will be able to get more accurate results, right? But anyhow, if you are interested in understanding about open source LLM models, already I've created multiple videos in my Langchain playlist. You can go ahead and check it out. So let's go ahead and let's understand what all things we are going to do. There are four to five different text summarization techniques which I'm going to complete in this session. And in my next video, I will be using all these techniques to create an end-to-end -end generative AI project, which will probably solve text summarization techniques in different, different use cases. Now in companies, there are huge number of PDFs, documents, and text summarization can play a very important role in solving various use, use cases. So let's go ahead and let's see step by step how we are going to do it. And all the code, everything, if you're following my Langchain playlist, you will be able to understand in a similar way, in a very easy way in short, right? Because I've covered all the specific topics in my Langchain playlist also. So the first thing in the code one is that I have used the open API key and this open API key I'm going to use for different different open AI LLM models and with those models I'm going to perform different techniques of text summarization and obviously Langchain as a framework has different functionalities to do the things with respect to text summarization. So first thing first over here you'll be able to see the first line of code is taking an open API key and setting up an environment over here with the name openai underscore api key because this key will be used in my llm models when i'm initializing whether it will be a chat model or whether it will be a simple llm model itself so the first thing over here you can see the first topic the first type of text summarization i will be starting with something called as best basic prompt summarization now here in basic prompt summarization the main aim is to just give a simple prompt and probably do the entire text summarization of any kind of data that you have. So over here, we are importing from langchain.chat models import chat open AI. Then from langchain.schema import AI message, human message and system message. Now you know the importance of AI message, human message and system message, right? Human message is any kind of message that probably a human being is giving. AI message is what the response from that LLM models are. And system message is the initial message. Let's say that I want to make the chatbot to work like a poet, okay? So let's say I'll say, hey, you need to act like a poet and whatever text I probably give, you have to probably create a poem out of it, okay? So that will be the default message that we want the system to act as. So the first thing first, I'm going to import all these things. And here you can see that it has executed successfully. Now coming to the next part, here, I have taken one amazing speech from our Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, okay? So this specific speech, I have downloaded or I have copied it from Wikipedia and pasted it over here. Now, our aim is that in a simpler way, by just taking the specific speech, how I'm going to summarize it, okay? So this is the speech over here, people across the country involved in government, politi political and social activities, so and so, all the entire information is there. I'll be providing you all this information, all this code in the GitHub material, which will be provided in the description of this particular video. So here is the speech and let me just go ahead and execute this. So this is my entire speech. Now with respect to this particular speech, as I said, I'm going to import system message, human message or AI message, right? We have imported it. So we will go ahead and set up the default values with respect to all these things. So first of all, I'm creating a list of chat message and this chat message in the system message, I'm saying the content 
and I'm telling the AI that you are an expert assistant with expertise in summarizing speeches. Okay, so let me go ahead and make this as speeches. So here you can probably see the entire code. You are an expert assistant with expertise in summarizing speeches. And then the second message is basically set up with human message. Please provide a short and concise summary of the following speech. And here we have given the text which will be in this particular variable. So this is my input variable that you can see over here, the speech part, right? So once I probably consider all these things, this will basically set up my human message system and the AI message system, right? So by default, the system message system, not AI message. AI message is the response that we specifically get from the LLM models. So the system message and the human message is basically set up. Now in my third line of code, what we have done is that we have initialized our chat open API, right? So chat open AI. Now this chat open AI will just act like an LLM model like we are providing, we are, we are asking any question and the LLM model will provide us some response. And here we specifically we are using chat GPT 3.5 turbo. And if you probably go into the open AI page, there are different models that will be specifically used for this particular purpose. So once I execute this, so my LLM model is initialized, okay? And I've given the two default prompts, which is basically assigned with system message and human message. Very much simple. I hope you are able to understand it. If you are able to understand it, please do hit like. And now this is just the first type. Similarly, we are going to see four to five types of text summarization technique, which is super important. Again, I'm telling you, which is super, super important because some of my students are working in companies who are working in LLM models and they are also doing this kind of task, right? Using again LangChain. So here is all my initial setup. Now we will go ahead and see if I need to understand that how many tokens are there in my speech, okay? So what I will do, I'll use that LLM model. I'll say get underscore num underscore tokens. So this will actually help us to understand how many tokens are there or how many tokens it is going to consider from that particular speech, okay? So if I go ahead and execute this, you will be able to see that we are having 866 token, okay? So 866 token is there and understand one thing is that in various models, there will be some token restriction size. So if I probably take an example of GPT 3.5 Turbo, it has somewhere around 4096 tokens, I guess, okay? If it is not true, you can go ahead and validate it. Just let me know if it is true or not. But I think I have heard that particular number and I've seen it long back, okay? But if we talk about GPT-4, it has different token size. It has the capacity of different, different token size. And similarly, like now there are a lot of models that are probably coming up, right? Where this token size will vary. Now, let's go ahead and see the entire summary. So I will be using something like LLM. So what we will do? I will go ahead and probably create a code and here I will write LLM and let me just go ahead and write my chat underscore messages, okay? So once I execute this, this will basically give the entire summary of the chat that I have actually given of all the speech that I have actually given. Now understand one thing, the output has something with AI message. This basically means this is the output of the LLM model. So here it says that the speaker discusses their participation in the Vixit Bharat Sankalp Yatra. So all the information is basically given over here. Now, if you really want to just focus on the content, go ahead and write dot content. And here you will be getting the output. Okay. And again, it is hitting the API and it is getting the data. Okay. And it is probably giving you the result over here. So in this speech, the speaker discusses the importance of ensuring that government plans and schemes so and so information and you can also print this and with respect to the print you will be getting this. So this is one kind of summarization technique that I've used and this system will specifically this way will be used in chat models right where we are saving in a conversational chat bot right this is all information like system message human message AI message where we are setting it up it will be super beneficial and super important when we create conversational chat bot and in my LangChain playlist I have already done that and I've created a detailed video. Now coming to the next type, okay? The next type is that we are going to use prompt template for text summarization. So first was directly by using this AI message, human message system, and uh, I think one more was something called a system message, right? 
So all those things we have specifically used. Now let's see with respect to prompt template text summarization. Now here the idea is very simple. We will create our own custom prompt and then we will give that particular prompt to our LLM model. Now there are multiple ways to do this. And first of all, I will discuss a basic way. And then when we have different types of prompt templates also, we will see that how we can actually do the same task. So whenever we use a prompt template in Lang chain, we have something called as LLM chain because prompt template can have multiple prompts. So for executing that, we require chains of LLMs, right? So that it executes one by one and gives you the final output. So for this, I'm going to import from langchain.chain, import LLM chain, from langchain, import prompt template. With the help of this prompt template, I'm going to create my own custom prompts, okay? So that is what I will be looking at. Now, once I execute this over here, you'll be able to see that I've executed this. Now let's go ahead and create our generic template. So over here, I've written, write a summary of the following speech, right? And here I'm saying that the speech is equal to speech. So this will basically be my input variable that we will be sending the information over here. And then I'm also saying, translate the precise summary to this specific language, okay? Translate the precise summary to Hindi. So this language information also I will be giving, okay, as an input. <coughs> now this will basically be my generic template information. Now coming to the second line of code, here you can probably see, we are creating a prompt template and we are saying the input variable will be speech and language and the template that we are going to use will be this generic template. And this is how we actually create our entire prompt template with all the information. All these things have been taught from basics in my Langchain playlist. So you can go ahead and have a look. So once I probably execute this over here, this prompt template is ready. Now, if I probably want to see my prompt, okay? So I will go ahead and write prompt dot format. And here I'm going to probably give my input variable speech with my speech that is stored in this specific variable speech itself. The entire speech is stored in the speech variable. And here I'm going to probably use the language, which will be nothing but Hindi. Okay. I'm saying that, okay, convert this entire text into Hindi. So probably if I execute this, then this exactly becomes my entire prompt. So here is the information that you see. Write a summary of the following speech. Speech is equal to people across the entire speech. And later on, this prompt, translate the precise summary to Hindi. It will become Hindi. Okay, so all this specific information is there. Now, what we are going to do, I'm going to save this entire prompt in my variable complete prompt. Okay, so this becomes my complete prompt. <clears throat> now, in order to see that, how many number of tokens are there for this complete prompt? It is the same text. So for this also, we are also going to get somewhere around 850s only. The reason it is 885 right now, because we have added some more information over here. Translate the precise summary to this specific language. So additional information has been put in the prompt itself. So here is what, if I go ahead and execute LLM.get underscore num underscore token with complete prompt, you will be able to see some error. Let's see why this error is coming. Okay, and error was not there. So here I'm actually getting 885 tokens, right? So the number of total number of tokens has increased from 850s to 885. I think before it was somewhere around, let's see. 866. <clears throat> now it is somewhere around 885. Now how to run this entire entire chain from the prompt template itself. As you know, we have imported LLM chain. So here you have my LLM chain. I'm giving my first parameter with respect to LLM, which is my model. And my prompt is nothing but the prompt that I have actually designed. So I'll be using this LLM chain. And when I have to run this entire prompt template, I will write dot run and my first input parameter is speech. Again, I'm giving my entire speech, which I've stored in the variable speech over here. And the language here, I've said it as Hindi. You can also give it as French. You can give it any other languages that you want. Now, once you probably execute this, you will be able to see, now I will be able to get the answer of the entire summary. And the summary will be in the form of Hindi, okay? So it will probably take some amount of time because uh, 855 tokens, right? Sorry, 880 tokens. Again, it is going to hit the API. It is going to take the results, okay? 
सो टिल देन आई कैन जस्ट शो यू द समरी ओवर हियर सो हियर यू कैन सी भारत में सरकारी राजनीतिक और सामाजिक गतिविधियों में शामिल लोग विकसित भारत संकल्प यात्रा को सफल बनाने के लिए अपना समय समर्पित कर रहे हैं समथिंग लाइक दैट ओके सो ऑल दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन इज बेसिकली दे आई होप यू लाइक दिस स्पेसिफिक टू टेक्निक्स विच यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज स्टिल गेटिंग एग्जीक्यूटेड इट इज गोइंग टू टेक समय अराउंड मोर देन वन मिनट वेन आई ट्राइड इट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम यस सम अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम इट इज डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू टेक नाउ यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट टू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स one is with a generic template and one is with a prompt template and we have seen both the text summarization technique <coughs> now let's discuss about the third technique that we are going to see which is called as stuff documentation chain now what does this specifically mean stuff documentation chain okay and similarly if you go ahead and see there are more techniques that we are going to see like which is which is also called as map reduce okay map reduce and we'll see one more technique which is called as refine so one by one we will be seeing this till then this is running i think this should get over in another 5 to 10 seconds let's see uh yeah because the speech is quite big you are first of all getting the entire translated summary in english and then you are converting that into hindi so obviously it is going to take some amount of time <coughs> yeah and this is with the paid api itself if you probably go with gpt4 i think then this it may not take that much time and it may get executed okay so once this is done let's go ahead now see it, it has taken 2 minutes 2.9 seconds it's okay but uh, now you have gpt4 so it is again going to take less amount of time for that okay but i really wanted to show you with 3.5 turbo then you can use 4.5 you can use uh, 4.0 4. turbo turbo version is also coming recently which GPT has launched, or Chat GPT has basically, or OpenAI has launched itself, right? Now let's discuss about stuff documentation chain. Now in stuff documentation chain, what we are specifically going to do, okay? Stuff documentation chain says that, let's say if I have a specific document, if I have content in a document, it will take the entire content and it will push to the LLM model, it will get the response, okay? Now you may be thinking, what is the difference with respect to prompt template and all? So here. the aim is very simple if you have any document take the entire content give that entire content to the llm and get the uh, summarized version of it it is similar like prompt template where i'm probably taking the entire content but this is one way okay so i will show you the differences between stuff documentation and map reduce also there is very important differences and when you should not use stuff documentation i'll talk about that also and even the normal prompt template also so first of all here what i am doing let's say you have a file and that file is not that big as i said that there is always a token restriction right with respect to various gpt models okay if i talk about gpt 3.5 turbo it has somewhere around 4096 tokens capacity that it, that means that at once it you can give 4096 tokens to the llm model and get the response okay but <clears throat> what happens if you have a huge document and you are not able to convert that into so many number of tokens if it is more than 4096 token then this method will not be useful so first of all i will show you how this method will basically work so here you have from py, py pdf to import pdf reader i have a pdf from dr apj abdul kalam and this specific speech pdf is stored over here i will also be giving you this in the github file so here is the entire pdf file you can probably see i will read this pdf okay so let's go ahead and read this pdf and again with the help of py pdf2 it is becoming very easy or it becomes very easy to read any kind of pdf that you want so once you read this you get an object of pdf reader and then what we do we enumerate through every pages inside that pdf reader we extract the text and we store it in a variable called as text okay so if i execute this over here and if i probably see the text here you can probably see the all the text that is present over here see over here apj abdul kalam okay let me just open my vs code again so here you can probably see apj abdul kalam departing speech i am delighted to address you all every all the information with respect to that text is available now now what we are going to do i am going to give this entire text to my llm model <clears throat> and understand the speech that is probably there 
इट इज अ टू पेज पीडीएफ ओनली टू पेज पीडीएफ ओके नॉट मोर देन टू पेज सो वेन टू पेज बिकम्स रेक्ट द टेक्स्ट इज रियली लेस वेन कंपेयर टू वेर यू हैव पी डी एफ विथ थर्टी फोर्टी पेजेस सो हियर वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ आई वॉन्ट टू गिव दिस इन द एल एल एम बेसिकली टू माई एल एल एम मॉडल इफ आई एम यूजिंग दिस स्टफ चेन डॉक्यूमेंटेशन और स्टफ डॉक्यूमेंटेशन चेन वॉट आई विल डू आई विल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड फॉर दिस आई हैव इंपोर्टेड सम लाइब्रेरीज ओके आई विल शो यू द लाइब्रेरीज ओवर हियर सो लेट मी डू वन थिंग सो देर इज अ लाइब्रेरी विच इज कॉल्ड एज डॉक्यूमेंट्स ओके एंड हियर यू कैन सी फ्रॉम लैंग चेन डॉट डॉक्यूमेंट डॉट स्टोर सो हियर लेट मी गो हेड एंड कॉपी दिस and this document we need to convert because the llm model when we are using this technique will be expecting all the text data to come in the form of a document so here i am going to probably import this particular document okay <coughs> and then what we are going to do in we'll convert that entire text in the form of a document okay so here we are writing document page content is equal to text so that basically becomes all the text is now pushed in one document okay that was our aim our main aim by using this stuff documentation chain is that i have my entire content i'll push inside a document and i'll give it to my llm model and get the response of whatever task i am probably doing like text summarization now this is my entire document over here and here you can probably see the page content now i'll go ahead and initialize my chat open api okay and then let's go ahead and use some important information that we have over here So first of all, I'll initialize prompt template. I'll load the library. I'll use chat open API as already. So no need to again reload it. Here is one important function which is called as load summarized chain. Now with respect to all the techniques of text uh, of text summarization that we'll be seeing, we will be using this specific library, that is load summarized chain. <clears throat> Now load summarized chain. Here you can probably see there is a parameter which is called as chain type. now for stuff it will become stuff over here for map reduce we have to just write go ahead and write map reduce over here right over here you can probably see there is something called as stuff only the parameter will change and automatically this entire text that you will be probably seeing will work in a, accordingly based on the type of parameter we select over there if i write stuff so what it is going to do the document that i have created will take the document will give it to the llm and it will give get the response for map reduce what will happen i'll tell you just in some time so that is the reason we are specifically going to use load summarized chain so let me just go ahead and import all these libraries now let's go ahead and write a template now so for template i have written write a concise and short summary of the following speech speech is equal to text i've given the text over here we have created prompt template input variable is equal to text template is equal to template so once i execute this now see i'll use this load load summarized chain the first parameter <coughs> is llm the second parameter is chain type is equal to stuff stuff basically means now this function understands that you you are putting the entire content in a document so it will be waiting for that document to probably come and then it will go ahead and call the llm model and then finally you'll get the response then you you are putting prompt is equal to prompt over here and then one more verbose parameter is there just to show you that If you want additional information that how the call is basically happening, you can make it as true, okay? Otherwise, just keep it as false, okay? Because I don't want to see much much information in my tab or in my output tab itself. And finally, I will just use this chain, which is my LLM chain dot run, and I'll just pass my documents which I have actually created earlier. We have created this document, right? So this document, the same document, I will pass it over here. and once i execute it you will be able to see that this is also going to take time because now i have this huge content right i'm putting inside a document and sending it to my chain so the output summary you can probably see over here <coughs> in this speech abj abdul kalam reflects on his five years as president of india and highlights all the important information and all now the best thing was that i had some kind of documents or text or pdf file which had limited data not huge data one to two pages of data right and i was able to probably document that entire text and send it to the llm model and get the response quickly okay but in companies as i said earlier you will be having data which will be a huge one 
a PDF of 500 MB, of 1 GB, of 2 GB. So in companies, you will be having files and documents of huge size. So in that case, when there is a restriction of to token, you cannot use just simply stuff document chain technique. For that, you have to use map reduce technique. And that is where we are going to discuss about summarizing large documents using map reduce. Now, what is the concept behind map reduce? The concept behind map reduce is very simple. You have a huge PDF. <clears throat> you divide those PDF into chunks. Okay. You take every chunk, give it to the LLM model. And for that chunk, you get a summary. So for every chunk, you have summaries. So every chunk will be given to the LLM model and you get a summary. The next chunk again is given to the LLM model. You get a summary, right? And finally, the LLM model will take all the summaries, combine them and generate a final summary. So this is the technique. Whenever you have large documents, you can use the same technique by using the map reduce technique. Map reduce is very simple. You have a huge document. You divide those document into small chunks. For every chunk, you generate a summary. You take all the summaries and generate a final summary. So that is what we are going to probably see how it is basically done. So here we are going to import prompt template, chat open API, load summarize chain again. And we are also going to use one thing, how we can divide these documents into chunks. So for that, we are going to use recursive character text splitter. So again, we'll be using this. I will execute this. Now for that same APJ speech, you can see we are reading it over here. We are extracting all the text by using the same code. Okay. <clears throat> we are initializing a chat open AI model. We are seeing that how many number of tokens are there. 4001. We will take this entire text and we will generate into chunks. So we are now splitting the text. So here you can see recursive character text splitter with chunk size 10,000. If I make chunk size small, I will be getting multiple chunks. Now, if I get multiple chunks, I have to push every chunk, give it to my LLM model and get the response back, right, in this technique. So that is the reason I have used a huge number, 10,000. And by this, when I create the document chunks, you'll be able to see my chunks will be only two that is basically created over here, okay? So this is my entire chunk. Uh, you'll be able to see if I go and show you what is the length of the chunk also you'll be able to understand. <clears throat> so once I execute it, you can see the length of the chunk is two. So that basically means when I use 10,000 of my chunk size, it is basically creating two documents just to show you an example. So these two chunks will be sent to my LLM model one by one. And after the summarization of both the chunks will be combined and given a final summary. So here we are again going to use load summarize chain, but this time the chain type will be map reduce, right? So here you can probably see map reduce. Okay. Chunk is already made and I'm giving that same chunks over here. See chain dot run chunks. So if you probably go ahead and see it, it will be taking this huge document. Already we have divided that into chunks. Now chunk by chunk, it is basically given to the LLM model. You get the response. And finally, it will be combining all the chunks. And now here is my final output. You can see former president of India, APJ Abdul Kalam, gave a departing speech expressing gratitude for support. Okay. And that is the entire summary that you can probably see. Are again a very good technique. And this should be definitely used <clears throat> when you have huge files. And that file size is very huge. You have a lot of content inside that. Okay. And if you want to implement a text summary, you can do that. One more thing that I want to show you. As you know, we convert the document into chunks, right? And for every chunk, we give that to the LLM model. Now, while giving also, we can develop our own custom prompt to do anything that we want, right? For the chunks and for the final summary also, we can write our own custom prompt, right? And that is what is basically shown over here. So first of all, I've written chunk underscore prompts. I've said that, please summarize the below speech. Speech is equal to text summary, right? Something like this. Then, then I have created the prompt template and given the input as text. The final combined prompt. So this, this prompt is basically happening, will apply to all the chunks that is getting created. This final combined prompt 
will be applying to all the summarized information that we have got from the chunk, right? Here I have write, written, provide a final summary of the entire speech with these important points. Add a generic motivational title, okay? Start the precise summary with an introduction and provide the summary in a number point for the speech. And speech is equal to text I've given, right? And then I've converted this into a prompt where text is my input. <clears throat> so for the chunk, there will be a different prompt. And for the final output, there will be a different prompt. And again, I've used load summarized. Here I've used map reduce in chain type. For the first prompt, for the chunk prompt, we have something called as map prompt, okay? Map reduce something. See, the meaning of map reduce. There are two components over here. For map, this will be my chunk prompt, okay? And for combined prompt, there will be a final combined prompt template, okay? <coughs> so here you can probably see, finally we write summary.chain.run, summary underscore chain dot run. And now it is going to give me the output based on the final prompt that we have given, okay? So finally you'll be able to see that what kind of output will come. It will take some time because I've given multiple prompts over here. It is chain of prompts. So here you can see title, empowerment, development, and resilience a vision for India. So this is the title that we have got. Let's see. So here you can see empowering India, reflections and aspiration. So this is my summary and all the points by points, if you probably go ahead and explore over here is given over here, right? Second point, third point. What is the main outcome of the specific speech? It is given in a very much easier way. Now this is the third technique. In third technique, we learn about refine. Now in refine, it is very simple. And it is much more similar to map reduce. In Refine, what we do is that <clears throat> we take our first chunk, we give it to our LLM model. It gives us a summarized version. In the second chunk, we combine ch chunk one and chunk two. We give it to the LLM model and we get a summarized version. In the third, we give chunk one, chunk two, chunk three. We combine them, give it to our LLM model and we get a text summarized version, right? So similarly, we go till the end and finally we get the summarized version. So for doing that, you just need to load summarize chain, give the chain type as refine and execute it. So once you execute it, here you'll be able to see that it is getting executed. <clears throat> and finally, you can get the output summary. The output summary will again look like this. Why you have to specifically use this? Again, you can use this for the similar purpose when we have a huge document. Now, at the end of the day, I will give you one assignment. You have to try refine with custom prompt. Let's see how you'll be able to do it or not, but it is pretty much simpler when compared to map reduce. So go ahead and try it out. So this was the entire video guys. <clears throat> I hope you like this particular video. In my next video, I'm going to probably do an end to end project where I'll be explaining you about this text summarization, all these techniques as an end to end project uh, by using some, uh, let's say streamlet or flask or anything as such. And I will show you, I'll combine all these techniques, use a good UI and implement this entire solution as a project itself. <coughs> this will be important when you will be probably working in any companies as such. So yes, this was it from my side. I hope you like this particular video. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you one all. Take care. Bye-bye.